What is going on guys? Welcome to today's video where I'm coming at you with another quick one, quick video today talking about sub-Q versus IM injections. And I feel that uh, there's a lot of like disagreement on this whole subject. And it's not that I'm like for or against either one, it's just that I always have done I am injections and that's typically because my injections have always been fairly higher volume and fairly often. So I just, I don't see the point for sub Q shots for me. Like the only, the only reason that I see subcutaneous shots being worth doing is when you are on either TRT or cruise doing daily injections you know, because with something like that, you might be injecting, you know, 0.15 milliliters per day. And that's a very, very small volume of a shot. And if that's, you know, your protocol, then I see that as being totally fine, totally normal, totally doable. Um, the, the thing is, is if you're going to try to do that on a cycle, if you inject a volume probably larger than a quarter of a mil, you're going to inject that into the fat. It's gonna create a little fat globule bubble <laughs> where you inject that oil. It's gonna sit in that spot and it's gonna hurt. It's gonna be sore. You're gonna be able to see it. It's gonna be visible. A quarter of a mil is, is pretty small still. And I know some people do get away with that, but you know, like for a guy like me who's doing you know, three or four shots of, you know, a third of a mil to half a mil, that just doesn't seem reasonable to me. So that's really like, there, there really isn't much of an argument there. I mean, yes, subcutaneous shots work. It's just, you need to understand that there's a time and a place. You have to try it and make your own conclusions. That is uh, pretty much it. Yeah, I mean, the, the only, place that I see merit for it is if you're doing shots that are a quarter of a mil or smaller, um, which really you'll only be doing on TRT or cruise. And uh, yeah, I mean, otherwise you should be doing IM shots into the muscle because that's, <laughs> that's what we've always done. And I just, I don't, uh, I see it being very painful trying to do um, sub Q shots with cycle amounts of oil. So that's how you should decide whether or not it's worth doing sub Q or not is more so if, you know, based on the volume of your shots, it's a very simple, very, very, very easy way to figure out what you need to do there. Um, but yeah, you, it's worth a try if you've never tried it before, I believe. I mean, I haven't, and I probably won't, but, um, I see, I see the merit in it and that sub Q injections uh, absorb slower and slow is good. I mean, that's one reason that I like using Sustanon testosterone is because it uh, gets into my bloodstream slow. It leaves my bloodstream slow. It keeps my hormone level stable. So I understand that, you know, doing sub Q shots in small volumes is going to give you very stable levels. But um, yeah, for the amount of volume that I'm doing right now, it, it just would not be feasible. So. Um, that's my stance on sub Q injections versus intramuscular injections. Um, personally, I don't do it. So take that for what you will. So yeah, go ahead and leave a comment down below giving me, you know, your experiences with it, what you think about it. Um, yeah, I think most people are kind of in the same boat as me on this. Uh, the thing that keeps them from doing sub Q shots is if the shot volume is big. So. Um, anybody that has done a sub Q shot over a quarter of a mil, half a mil, whatever, leave your comment down below and tell us your experience with it. Um, I imagine painful, <laughs> a painful lump is, is what you get. So, um, but yeah, share your experiences down below just so that the community can see what's going on and what the deal is there. So by the way, there is a sale going on at Redcon one right now. It is 30% off. And then, you know, you buy more, you get more. I believe if you spend $50, you get a free hoodie. If you spend over $85, you get a free two pound tub of protein and the hoodie. And then if you spend over Oh, if you spend over $75, you get a shaker bottle, 
in the hoodie, $85 is the protein shaker bottle and hoodie. And if you spend over $200, you get free shipping and all this stuff. So um, yeah, check that out guys. Link is down in the description box below and down in the comment section. So yeah, check it out. Thank you. Remember, nobody cares, train harder. And I will see you all next time.